Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to dive into the world of productivity, looking at these powerful tools from Google. We're going to look at three powerful tools, so let's go ahead and check this out. Now, whether you're trying to manage your schedule, track your to-do list, or jot down some quick notes, we've got you covered. So let's get started. We're going to start with part one, which is Google Calendar Overview. So first up, let's talk about calendar. Go to um, if you're you're logged in and you're on Chrome, go to the menu here and go to Calendar. This is your go-to for scheduling and managing your time effectively. With Google Calendar, you can create events, set reminders, and you can also share your calendar with others. So to create an event, we're simply going to click on a date and time that you want to enter the details for. So let's go ahead and look at Monday and we're going to just click here and I'm going to create an event. So I could call this, you know, test event. Just for, just for this uh, quick demo, and I can choose the time. So I can say from 2.15 to 3 o'clock for 45 minutes, and then I can go ahead and press save. Now, before I press save, I wanna just quickly show you that what we can do, we can create recurring events, and we can choose different notifications to be reminded ahead of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Look, we can go ahead and repeat this event. So we can say daily, weekly, and a Monday. You can customize this as well. Okay, so we can say Monday, Wednesday, we're going to repeat this up until um, July the 15th. And then we can go ahead and press on done. So that's going to create a repeated event. We can also change the notification. So we can go ahead and click on this here and it says notify before. We can do it a whole day before. I guess that we get notified a day before the deadline is due or we can get notified you know, 10 minutes before a meeting is going to happen. You can choose a custom notification. Also, you can add people to your calendar, so we can add guests to the calendar to this event. Then you can go ahead and just press on save. All right, and that would save this. One of the best features with Google Calendar is that it integrates into other Google tools as well, like Google Tasks and Google Keep. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. So part two, we're gonna be looking at Google Tasks integration. Google Tasks is perfect for creating and managing your to-do lists, okay? So what you can do is you can add directly your tasks on Google Calendar. So if you look over here, on the top right hand corner, you've got this icon here and it says switch to tasks. So we let's go ahead and switch to tasks. Without leaving our calendar, we can go ahead and look at what tasks we have. Let's go ahead and add a task here. So like Google Calendar, we can add a task with a date and a reminder. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can also add subsequent tasks. So let's go ahead and create a task here. Again, we just call this test task. And then I can choose a due date here. Okay, uh, and the time as well. Let's make it in the morning sometime. Here we go, 8.30. Give it a little description. Test task. Let's do some work. I can also give this task a label. I can go ahead and create a label here or I can make a new label. Okay, go ahead and save. All right, so here it is. Here's the one that I've saved. And this is when this was on, let's quickly check. This was on Monday at 8.30. So if I go back to my calendar view, if I click on my tasks, if you see here, look, I've got my tasks. If I click on my tasks, take a little while to sync, and then you can see here, here we go, 8.30, we have a test task that is due. All right, let's do some work, excellent. So this way your tasks are always visible alongside your events, making it easy for you to manage your time and your priorities. Okay, now step three, is gonna be Google Keeps Overview. Let's check out how that integrates with all of this. This tool is great for note-taking, creating checklists, and saving important information. All right, it's good you wanna get your ideas out of your head and onto paper, or in this case, on the screen, so that we can clear out that cluster. So you can create different types of notes. You can add labels, you can set reminders. You can even color code them so that they're easily organized. So let's go ahead and look at the Google Keep integration. You can actually go, click on your menu and go to Keep, and then you'll have an overview of all of your notes that you've got and your different, um, your different labels that you've created. Now I use this and I've got a whole bunch of notes. I've got barcodes, I've got images, I've got checklists. So really simply, let's just take a note here. Let's go ahead and just do a test note. And then you can add collaborators, add to it. You can add reminders to it. So later on today, I want to be notified. I can color code this. 
and I can also add a label. So I can go ahead and add a label and choose one of these labels, okay, one of these subjects, or I could create a new label as well. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get add this to EdTech. And then that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. So I've got my note there. I can also pin this note right to the top so it's always there. Now this is not the only place where you can see your notes, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you the integration on how you can add a note to a calendar event. This stuff works really well together and it's a game changer for staying organized and getting prepared for work to do. Okay, let's put all of this together and show you a practical example. Suppose you're planning a project, all right? First, what you will do, you will set up the project deadlines and the milestones in Google Calendar. So let's go back to Calendar. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up a new project timeline. Once we add our calendar event for this project, Next, we'll break it down into project tasks by using Google Tasks. Okay, we'll set due dates for each task. And finally, we'll use Google Keep to jot down any of the important notes, ideas, checklists, um, and any relevant information that we want to keep for this project. So let's go ahead and set this up. Step one is going to be setting up your project in Google Calendar. So here we are in Google Calendar. Imagine that you have a history project due in two weeks time. So we'll click on today. And then from today, we'll choose two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead two weeks. And on the 23rd, this is when the project is due. So we're gonna go ahead and set a reminder here. So we'll call this one history project due, okay? So history project is due. And we can set the time. If you have any guests that are collaborating with you, you can add them here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Now what I wanna do is, I want to be informed of this due date a day beforehand. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my notification one day before, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So here you can see I've got my history project due. In fact, I want it to pop out, so I'm gonna change the color for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to red. Whoa, red, red is danger. So here we go, we've got that now. So this project is due in two weeks time. Let's go ahead and break this project down into smaller tasks. For example, research, outline, first draft, and your final draft. Okay, we're gonna add these um, milestones on our calendar and we're gonna divide them out. So let's go ahead and start by going back a week. Oh, right, let's go to today. And we're gonna start planning this from today. So maybe in two days time, we want our research completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and say research completed. Again, I'm gonna change this to red, go ahead and press save. And I also wanna to add to this my outline. So let's go ahead to next week and we'll do an outline here. Outline completed. Again, I wanna change this to my tomato red. And then obviously we're gonna do first draft and final draft. So first draft time, I'm gonna do a first draft. So we'll do final draft here. Okay, so now I've got this task it starts my research project starts here my outline is should be completed by this date and then in two days time i should have my first my final draft and of course my project is due on the 23rd okay so now that i've done that i spread these out on my calendar what i want to do is i want to break down the tasks into google tasks okay so what we'll do next is we'll jump onto google tasks and we'll manage specific tasks for each milestone all right so we're going to click on the task button here we are, click on the task button. And for the research milestone, we're gonna add a task. For example, we're gonna do choose the topic, find sources, and then take notes. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna create a new list here and call it history. Now I wanna add a, another task here. So let's go ahead and create another task and I'm gonna call this one, find the sources, find sources. Again, this goes to history and save that. And then finally, I wanna do um, take notes. So let's go ahead and say take notes. Okay, this is my history project. Let's go ahead and add that to history and this should be due on the 11th. Okay, so those three tasks now are set for my first milestone. We can do the same for the other milestones. For example, for the outline milestone, we wanna add tasks that might include create the outline structure, write the introduction and so on and so forth. This way, each part of the project is broken down into manageable steps. So if you go back to our calendar view, you see now look at this, the history project is due here. And if I scroll back to today, this is my research project, find the topic so I can drag this across 
and this should be over here. Find the sources, that might be the next day, and then take the notes, it might be on the same day or it might be you know, on the third day. So now, I can drag and drop these where I need them. And the same thing will go for my project outline. I can do the same thing here, create some tasks underneath here. And then as I'm looking at each of these, I can make sure that I'm signing off for all of these tasks. So I'll click on this task, check what I need to do with it, and then go ahead and or mark as complete. So I can mark that as complete. Woohoo! Google Keep, okay, otherwise notes, um, is a perfect tool for us to capture all of our ideas all of our notes and all of our checklists. So let's go ahead and look at this for the history project. What we can do is we can create a note directly on the calendar event. This is the beauty of it. Okay, so how do we integrate notes with the research completed? How do I integrate notes with this task? Very simple. If I click on my research project here, this event, and I go to edit this event, what I can do is I can open up, there's a little side panel here, and I can open up my keep and if I add a note here now, if I add a brand new note, and so for my research project, what I might want to do is I might want to list um, the books that we've read for this project. And I can add my reading list here. Okay, book one, book two, book three. And the thing is, I can, once I press done, this is attached to that. So if I open up Google Keep here, and I look at my research project here, look at this reading list, I can see that it's linked to the actual event. So if I click on that, it's going to open up the actual event. I can see my calendar. Oh my God, this is due in a couple of days. I need to make sure that I'm on top of it. And the thing is with Google Keep, I can go into my Google Keep now and I can keep adding uh, my notes to this as well. I can keep everything organized and I can pin this to the top as well. While researching, use Google Keep to jot down all of your ideas. So if I'm open, if I go to a website and I've got some information and I found some history project. Okay, and I've got some information here then I can take this information and I can put it into, you know, I wanna use this, Here, here's my list, go back to here and I can add this, okay, websites. I'm gonna check out this website and what do I wanna take from it? I wanna take this, I wanna make sure that I reference this stuff and go back and read this, okay? And the thing is, every time you get a link, it hyperlinks it, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and close that so you can make sure that you remember where you got your information from. So there you have it, a quick overview of how you can use Google Calendar, Google Tasks, and Google Keep to boost your productivity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and hit that bell notification as well to stay up to date with the latest content. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have happy planning, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.